If you're scratching your head wondering where your next paying client is coming from, you're not going to want to miss this episode. I share my favorite, highly profitable, and heart-centered sales tactic, and also the five steps you can take to sign your next paying client in your business. Here we go. Welcome to the Heart-Centered Entrepreneur Podcast. I want you to be rich. Yes, I want abundant financial success for your business. But I don't just care about your business making money. I care about you too. I want you to be rich in happiness, in the impact you make, in your relationships, and in how you give back. I'm Anna. I built my six-figure business as a side hustle while I was pregnant with my daughter in 2016. Now I've helped dozens of women do the same. I'm here to help you build a profitable, heart-centered, fully booked business with the latest tips on sales and visibility, with proven mindset hacks, and sneak peeks behind the scenes with what's working right now in the online space and in my business. Ready to make more money with heart? Let's go. In 2016, I remember literally Googling, how do I find my first client? I knew I was ready to make money online, but I felt so overwhelmed with business ideas and everything felt so vague. My inbox was overflowing with freebies. And honestly, one of the things that really helped me most was hearing stories from real women on how they signed their first clients in their business, how they actually brought in their first $1,000 online. And that's exactly why I posted a thread in our Facebook community asking all 8,000 of you to share exactly where your first client came from where your first bit of money came from. Because I think that's one of the biggest gifts we can give each other is to just really hear and see not only the evidence that it's possible to land clients online, but to understand exactly where people are doing it from. So I'll link to that in the show notes. There are literally hundreds of ways for you to sign your next client. But today, I'm just going in depth on one strategy (laughs) because I think it can be so easy to be overwhelmed with the options. And what I want to do is say, hey, sister, this is what I've seen work for me. This is what I've seen work for dozens of women online. And so I want to go in depth and hold nothing back from you. This strategy is heart-centered and highly profitable and is one of the steps. So there's five steps that I created to sign your next client. And one of those steps is picking a heart-centered sales strategy. And this is one of them. So I'm going to go in depth on this one. Then we're going to get to the five steps. So the number one strategy I recommend to my clients starting out online, whether you're starting for the first time or you're doing a major shift in your business, maybe you're doing VA work as a done-for-you service or you're a website designer and you're like, I think I want to try coaching, right? Or maybe you are starting your design business for the first time and you're like, I think I could do websites, is to create a really clear package, give it a price, and strategically give it away at no cost. Yes, this is called a scholarship offer. Even though you are giving something away, I want to share the four breakthroughs that running a scholarship offer will give back to you. Breakthrough number one was confidence. I think many women burn out online because they're getting lost in the marketing and they're not actually doing the work that they love in the in their business, right? Because when you don't have clients, then you're not doing your actual work. And what it did is it put me faster into the work that I really wanted to be doing online, which for me was life coaching. Maybe for you, it's design. Instead of scrolling on social, I was doing the coaching work that I loved. And that really lit me up. And it gave me the confidence in my work. And that was magnetic. And I think when you run a scholarship offer and you see people 20, 50, 100 people apply to work with you, it's such a confidence boost and reminder that you and your work are needed. Second breakthrough it gave me is it gave me massive clarity. It forced me to pick one message (laughs) instead of getting stuck in all the hypothetical messaging worksheets. I had to pick one problem to solve with the offer, right? Because when you're doing a scholarship, you're doing a scholarship for a specific offer and package. And I had to really get clear on that. The next breakthrough is it gave me sales practice. It gave me practice selling because even though your scholarship offer is free, you still have to promote it. You still have to learn to communicate the value because people are giving you their time. It sounds crazy, but even when something is free in our business, we still have to talk about it and share about it and sell it. And the final breakthrough, most importantly, is it made me money. Yes, running this free scholarship offer actually made me money. I'm going to share with you how to do that strategically in your business so that you're getting a return for the time and the value you're pouring out. But number one, all three of my scholarship clients became paying clients either immediately or within a year of working with me. Not all of them converted right away, but that's okay, right? When you do good work, people stick around, they come back, they tell others about you. And this is really a satisfying and highly profitable business model when you're 
here doing good work and showing up for your people. They take notice. In addition, many people who applied for and didn't get the scholarship later became paying clients right? Because they were invested in the offer. And as you're getting visible with the scholarship, other people are seeing it besides the people that are applying, right? It's really visibility around your paid work. Okay, so I hope you're starting to see the value in doing work for free, especially when you're strategic, right? Because it's important to give, but also we have to set things up so that we can receive back, right? And whose job is that? I hear women all the time online getting frustrated. I'm posting, I'm giving, I'm showing up, but are you setting things up strategically to receive back money, right? It's so important that you do that. And I'm going to share with you the four steps to make sure that that happens, right? It's your job to make sure that we don't get to that bitter and resentful place of giving, giving online and never receiving. Are you setting yourself up to receive? Okay, so step number one is to create a clear offer. Even though it's free, it's important that we're really creating the parameters of what this package is because ideally people are also gonna purchase this package for cash, right? So let's just do our best and get clear on the six core elements of a simple offer um, and put it out there in the world that before you get obsessed with popping this on your website or making this really a fancy sales page, literally I want you to get clear on these six things I'm gonna tell you. And it's just gonna be a small paragraph and it's gonna be perfect for you to pop on social or for you to send someone in an email. Um, But these are really the six things when I work with my clients and have them create either their first offer or a brand new offer, just nail these six things. Number one is your title. Your two is your subtitle. Three is your deliverables. Four is the benefits. Number five is the cost. And number six is the way to connect with you. And if this was a paid offer, you'd also include how to pay you, right? But these six things... (laughs) It, it can be intimidating, right? To come up with, oh, shoot, I'm creating a name. Where do I pull that out of, out of the air? Yes, you're making up a name. You're doing your best guess. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some tips on each of these. So for the subtitle and title, I suggest you start with the subtitle because usually the subtitle is a little descriptive. Um, and then from there, you can create a catchy title. And one of my favorite things is just to brain dump 10 ideas and pick one, right? There's not gonna be a perfect title. You could ask some friends if you want, but just trust yourself, pick a title and know that you can change it later. The deliverables, or what's actually included with your package, right? If you were designing a website for someone, are you including five pages? Are you including 10 pages? If this is a coaching package, is it three sessions or is it 10 sessions? Um, But I really suggest that whatever it is you're going to be selling, like that's what we want to give away in the scholarship because that's what we want publicity around, right? We, that's what we want to highlight. And we want to give our scholarship client the, the chance to go all the way through our package. Next, the benefits. So a lot of times we'll write the deliverables, like my package includes X, Y, Z, but we don't talk about the benefits, right? The benefits are the objective at the end of the day of the deliverables, right? So if you're having three coaching sessions, what's the goal of the sessions, right? The client isn't getting in it just to hang out with you for an hour, but so that at the end of the day, they can have less anxiety, right? Or if you're a health coach, so that they can lose weight. (laughs) Um, If you're a relationship coach, so that they can find their dream partner, right? What is that objective at the end of the day? And this isn't what you're promising, but you're letting them know like this is possible for you, right? If you show up and do the work, these are the type of results you can expect from our work together. Um, Okay, next is the cost. Even though you're not charging, pick a cost, put it on there. You need to own your value so that people know that, oh, this is a scholarship, but it is worth something, right? Don't over worry about the cost, but I do want you to put a dollar amount on there. Um, And then a way to connect with you. So for a scholarship, that's an application. We're going to talk about that next. Number two, that you want to do for this is you want to create a way to apply. And you can just do this literally on Google Forms, but don't make it really easy, right? I would put at least 10 questions because even though they're not paying you money, we want to know that they're invested in the process. We want to know that they're bought in, number one, because you're doing all this work, right? And we want to get a good testimonial, but also because as the client, they're going to see the biggest change when they are fully ready to go, not just sold on you, but also Really, you're saying, are they ready? When someone pays you money, it helps you know that they're ready to go in on this shift or transformation with you. But with this application, we want to know, are they are they ready? Are they ready to go all in? Because that's how humans get results is when they can say, yes, I'm ready to show up and I'm ready to go all in on this change. 
Okay, so number three is to share it. Yes, you're ready to share your beautiful offer and you can create a graphic or two to go with it, but don't go crazy. Just write a few social posts, share it on social media, but you can also ask people to apply. You can also email people and say, hey, would you share this with your friends, right? You can go to where your clients are at. And so if you're a part of a Facebook group where there are your ideal clients, share it there. If you are a part of a local networking group, share it there. Really expand. And this might be uncomfortable, but really tell everyone about it. Because probably the next thing you're going to do after you promote a scholarship offer is promote some paid stuff. And so it's never going to get any easier, right? You're literally promoting something that's absolutely free that you're going to change someone's life with and they're not going to have to pay a penny, right? This is a great deal. And this is the time to get visible, right? This is the time to share it without guilt. And what you want to do, like I talked about in the benefits section of creating your offer, is get really rooted and pumped up about the value so that when you show up and when you tell people, you can communicate about it with passion and authenticity, right? Not like, hey, I created this offer. And you can say, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what I decided to do, but I actually decided to give away this package for free that's worth 2000 bucks, right? And I am so excited for the person that's going to win this. Remember, in marketing, we want to focus less on the nitty gritty of what will happen in the work, right? Like designing a five-page website and instead talk about the transformation that you're hoping your people will walk away with after working with you. For the website designer, you may say, I'm so excited to work with someone, not just to build their digital home, but to create an asset for their business that helps bring in leads, right? Helps bring in clients for their business. Really look at the benefit and talk about that as you encourage people to apply for your scholarship offer. Okay, step four is connection and follow through. So remember, (laughs) at the end of the day, in order to make this whole thing convert for you, we want to make sure that we connect, right? When someone applies for your program, shoot them over a message and say, hey, thanks so much for applying. After the deadline wraps up, hop on calls with your applicants to hear where they're at, to test for fit, and to continue to connect with them. And because you connected with them, because you read their application, because you hopped on a call, you'll be able to say with complete sincerity that you can help them and that you would love to help them if that's true. Obviously, if someone's not a fit, right, we want to tell them that too. But my guess is that several people that applied for the scholarship would still be a great fit for your offer. And we don't want to hold back on communicating that. And finally, as you work with your winner, make sure that you ask for testimonials, right? You are giving them something beautiful and valuable, and it is okay to ask for that exchange of, hey, if you liked our work, would you mind sharing it? Okay, my friends, that's the strategy. Now, using a strategy like this takes a lot of courage, and mindset blocks might be coming up for you, like, am I even qualified to be a health coach? What if I get lots of people to apply and I can't keep up? What if I pick someone and they're disappointed with my work? Or what if I do this and no one applies? I know that it takes courage to work with people one-on-one like this. And I know that marketers make passive income or launching a signature course sound really, really sexy. But all of that takes an audience and it takes time. And I want you to know that you can make money and help people right now one-on-one while you build your audience for your group course or offer. You do need an audience long-term in your business to make sales and fill your group programs. But you don't need an audience to give you permission to start, to help people right now and to validate the power of your work. My question for you is, are you willing to take the courageous move to work with real humans one-on-one so that when you create your group course or framework, you know it's something that's been proven to be effective? Are you willing to believe that you bring enough to the table right now? As a former therapist, I had a ton of blocks around offering one-on-one work and calling myself a, quote, life coach. I wondered if it was ethical. I questioned what I would teach, what I would say if a client asked me a cue I couldn't answer. I wondered, should I be certified? I just had all the questions and all the blocks. I lacked a lot of clarity. And in my five steps to signing your next client, the first step is clarity. And what helped get me through this is hiring a coach for a single session and just really processing and getting some practical tips. And that was enough to unlock me. And once I started of working with my first three clients, I realized I'm ready now. <laughs> I'm not perfect, but I am enough right now. All right, here's the five steps to your next paying client. Clarity, visibility, audience building, simple sales, and mindset. If you notice, the scholarship offer actually forces you into a lot of these, but I want to cover the framework. This is the framework that I go through my clients in an intensive, and sometimes we don't pick a scholarship offer as their main strategy. And so 
I still want to cover this for you. So number one is clarity. So, so important that you're nailing the one problem you solve for your clients. That's your message. And you're nailing the one way people can work with you and pay you money. That's your offer. This is the area I find most women get stuck in. And if it's time for you to create a new offer or realign your offer, maybe you've been doing one-on-one work successfully and you're ready to launch a group. If this part doesn't feel aligned, the rest won't work. So if you need help getting clear on those seven elements, get help getting clear. You want something you can commit to for 90 days in your business to fully assess if it's working. So that's step number one for signing your next client is absolute clarity. Step two is visibility. And I get that it takes courage to own that you're the expert and create a tip post on social media. It takes guts to hop on video, but let it be imperfect. Pick one place you want to show up to give value online. Honestly, posting online and getting visible for a few months without selling anything is what finally gave me the courage to start believing that I had something worthy of payment. And so if that's you and you're like, oh, I've been visible for a long time, but I'm really not monetizing like I'd like to, that's okay. Like, be grateful to that version of you because maybe you needed to do that to get where you're at today. But if you're listening to this podcast, I'm telling you, you're ready. You're ready for that next step right now. Step three is audience building. And good news is if you do a scholarship offer, those first 30 people that apply for your scholarship are your audience. Yay, congrats. When I did a challenge and had 80 people sign up as a life coach, that was my first audience. And I treated them like royalty. The key to your audience isn't the size, it's your connection with them. Good businesses are built on relationships. And at the start, you'll be building your audience one person at a time. When my Facebook group had 15 people, I showed up the same as when it now has 8,000. And I really believe that's been part of the success is I have known that I have something to give from day one and know that you do too. The size of your audience does not dictate who you are. Number four is a simple sales strategy. What heart-centered tactic are you going to use to connect people to your offer? This changes over time with your business, and I want you to pick one strategy that makes the most sense for you right now. I mentioned a scholarship offer in this episode, but I also, very early in my business, used a free challenge. So I did a free challenge as a life coach. I told everyone and their mom, and I filled my group with 80 people for free. And then I was able to sell 10 spaces in a low-cost group coaching program. And that's another tactic is running challenges. I also teach my clients to run high converting sales conversations. There's lots of tools, but what I don't want you to do is pick several at once, right? If you're running a challenge, don't worry about webinars. If you're doing a scholarship offer, go all in on that. Just pick one tactic. If I could go back and tell the three-year-ago version of me where I'm at today, it would have blew my mind. Like, I was literally there in my therapy office during my lunch break with my big pregnant belly, like, creating videos. And I had no clue that in just a little over a year, I would have crossed the six-figure mark, work with hundreds of women internationally. Like, it it blows my mind. And I think I was so stuck in all the things that could go wrong that I didn't even allow myself to see, like, this could surpass your wildest dreams, your wildest imagination. And that's what working your mindset does is it gives you permission, whether you're talking things out with the coach, whether you're journaling, whether you're doing visualizations, is it gives you the opportunity to look at the things you're believing and really assess them. Are they true? Are they serving me? That's exactly why I created my seven sales affirmations freebie for you so that you could print that off, keep it handy, and literally start shifting the way that you think about sales and money and running an online business. That is really where it starts. You can get that at heartcenteredcommunity.com. You also get admission to my free Facebook community with 8,000 women where I regularly hang out, and I would love to see you on the inside there. Finally, I want to remind you, don't be afraid to get support. Having a clear plan of action custom to you and your business and your season of life is imperative. I offer client map intensives just for this reason so you can get my eyes on your business, all of your questions answered, and create a simple one-page plan for signing your next three clients. And maybe it'll include a scholarship offer, but maybe not. Maybe it'll be a different heart-centered strategy. The key is to create a plan that's right for you so that you know the time that you're 
you're spending online and building your business is giving you a return. You know that the courageous actions you're taking are worth it because it's bringing you closer to the cash and the impact with those clients. So I'm going to include my discovery call link below if you want to chat more about what it would be like to work with me in a client map intensive. But thank you for hanging out with me today. I know that this was intensive. And so give yourself permission to let it digest. That's what I tell my clients after like an intensive strategy session, right? Some of our sessions are more mindset, some are more strategy. And today the session that I did with you was strategic. We covered a lot of strategy. So give yourself permission to let it unpack. And maybe you want to listen through again. But I hope that this was helpful for you. And thank you so much for tuning into the show. I can't tell you what your support means to me. Thanks for hanging out today. Please hit that subscribe button so you can make sure to stay updated anytime a new episode drops. And I would love for you to join me in my free Facebook community. It's called The Heart Centered Entrepreneur. We discuss the podcast episodes. I regularly go live and do free trainings. And you may even meet your newest biz bestie. So you can join at heartcenteredcommunity.com. It's absolutely free. And I cannot wait to see you in there.